down with the rise of Chris Wu, right? Okay, so okay. <laughs> if you talk about Chris Wu, you gotta talk about K-pop because that's. Have you guys ever heard of the K-pop group called EXO? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. E X O, right? That's how E X O. Yeah, I, yeah. I've seen it on um, I've seen it on YouTube and stuff like. like yeah, right. Trending. Yeah, twenty yeah, fourteen. These guys. Big, yeah. When they first debuted, they were huge. Um, so they were like created by the SM Entertainment, which is like rivals with YG, which produced Big Bang, yeah. and then uh, what's the other one? JYP, which produced like two min uh two PM and stuff. So like this band was like so popular when they first debuted that they like for the first album that they released, like full album, they sold yeah. a total of one million copies. She and it's basically for a debut. Of, yeah, for the, not, no no uh, for the first album, which is like that's a debut, right? No, they have these things called mini albums that they produce as well. Uh, is that like an EP or is that kind of like a no? It's like thing? a smaller album. No, no, no. It's like instead of like twelve songs, you have like six songs or something. Oh, okay. So that's what a mini album is. Get the it's just like a marketing taste. thing. <laughs> so basically, Kanye. But, um, some Kanye <laughs> push the t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say yeah. This, yeah. As some entertainment, they're pretty smart, right? Because they basically yeah. got like decided to create a boy brand with half of the members being Chinese and half of the members being Korea, so they can yeah. sing in Chinese and Korea. Yeah, like they sing the same songs but like, in Korean. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then they'll like promote it to like both of these countries, and they're massive, and it worked so well. Is that but, why you um, got hooked on them? Because so you were like half Korean and half Chinese. No, <laughs> 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 no, I'm just joking. Nah, nah. <laughs> um, but Chris Wu was uh, definitely one of the more popular members, and um, I think he he sat in like a few like award winning films and stuff as well in China. And one of his films, which is called "Somewhere Only We Know," made thirty-seven point eight one million dollars at USD in six days. That's what? crazy, right? That's a lot. Thirty-seven point eight one million dollars with the US whole band, or like in six days? No, no, no. This whole... is a movie that he made. It's the movie. Oh, shit, that's pretty. He, good he didn't for... make it. Is he it, was a main is this, actor. Is this the Korean language movie, or no? No, this is a Chinese no, it would film. Be Chinese. He's Chinese. Yeah, it's Chinese. No, I don't think Korean. It's, you know, <laughs> it's the maybe maybe his super fans will, will still watch aspect. it. But yeah, sorry, continue. Yeah, yeah, and um, but I think back, I don't quite remember. I think this was back in twenty fourteen when Chris was, uh, he decided to file a lawsuit against SM Entertainment mm. to terminate his contract, um, because apparently he was injured, and then SM didn't act enough to, you know. I treat him or something. Yeah. Um. And then he was stating that it was a violation of human rights. But like the thing was, he was already getting really popular in China, so he wanted to just break off kind and of just solo. do his own thing. 